Okay, hi. I'm Channing, and we are on the Denver Garden Railway uh, layout tour, and we are at the house of the Millers, mm -hmm. right? So we have Luke Miller here. He is, how old are you? I'm 16. 16. And he is the mastermind behind this beautiful layout here. Uh, what city are we in? Uh, Highlands Ranch. Highlands Ranch. So it's near Littleton. And it's a beautiful layout. Uh, tell me more about you know, the history of it. When did it start? Okay, so the idea of it started about two years ago and we started kind of the basic ground moving steps about two years ago and started working on digging up the yard because it originally was a massive slope off the edge so we dug into the yard and then used that dirt to make the rest of the yard flat across and did that um, so it started about two years ago but not till this year did we really start laying track and really starting to get most of the work done on it so um, pretty much that's what we did. We, we laid most of the track actually in one night. Uh, currently we have two different loops. The goal is to eventually connect them with an expansion plan with a helix and we're going to gain some elevation. But really all I wanted to do with this layout was model scenes in Colorado. Sure. Yeah. I see uh, a lot of AccuCraft models, well, yes. you got some live steam electrics, you got the, the galloping gooses, Yeah, it's beautiful, uh, the, the buildings are really nice too, where did you get those? So the buildings are actually from a club member, his name's Doug Mays, and he's, since the layout's new and we finished it a couple months ago, we didn't have quite enough buildings, so uh -huh. he's been generous enough to loan those to us for the convention. But oh, wonderful. I, yeah. they're great buildings yeah. and very high quality. The roundhouse with the live steam loop looks yes. like it's been there the whole time. Is that part of the Yeah, the so too? that's kind of part of the plan yeah. we had. We want a big engine facility where we can kind of display our steam locomotives and equipment. Because um, there's two other people that frequently operate mm -hmm. here who run our, uh, YouTube and Instagram with me. Um, called Colorado Railroad Productions, and it's it's a great Instagram. Thank uh, you. We should follow, give that a follow. Colorado Railroad Productions. We'll, we'll put a link in our in this okay. video. Sounds good. And uh, you also have a YouTube channel too. Right? Yes. Yeah. But that's also the same name. Yep. Right. Yep. So, um, what's your favorite part of this layout? I would say I really like how this kind of mountain turned out mm -hmm. um, because I wanted it to it. be. Yeah. I wanted it to be more of a wilderness area and not as much of a city populated area. So you can see I have a small little mine back there yeah. that services the train. But other than that, it's all isolated in a way. And I think that's a part of Colorado that's so important because you have these big canyons that you really can't easily access. And I really kind of wanted to model that type of thing. And just the waterfall on the bridge, I think, turned out really good. So I'm proud of that. Great. And uh, what was the most challenging part of this construction? I would say challenging was drainage. Mm -hmm. Because as you can see, we have these massive canyons that yeah. we had to build. And we didn't really think about drainage when we were digging it out. So we started laying track on the part... Um, and it all kept flooding and there was nowhere for it to go. It started pooling. So we actually had to rip everything up and put a French drain under. So then the water would be able to come out. But we run all seasons now because of the drainage and mm -hmm. makes it possible to do that. Wow. And uh, let's take a look at your little upper lip level here. Okay. And this is actually the most recent extension to it. Um, we're working on getting it done. Like I was saying, our expansion project at some point, we'd like to put a helix over there and loop it up to here and get it up to elevation. Mm -hmm. And then we might go into that little outhouse there and put a staging yard in there. That's great. Do you have a favorite locomotive? 
I would have to say my favorite locomotive of mine is the C25 here. And that's actually one of your guys' models. Um, that's nice. It's weathered yeah. and all the custom work was done by Alan Olson. Oh, and yeah. he said Alan he was, from the museum. Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. So he said he was selling it and I'm like, I'd love to buy it. Yeah. So that's how I ended up with that. Wow. Well, thanks so much. I think well, yeah, you should thank be very you. proud of what you've done. This thank is amazing. You. Yes. And uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks to the Millers. Like and subscribe.